Hello there and welcome back to the channel. We are continuing Andor. This is season one, episode nine, titled Nobody's Listening. And you are now home again from your vacation. Thank you so yeah. much again for taking time out of your vacation to watch some Star Wars with me. We watched, of course, an episode of Andor and the entirety of Tales of the Jedi. Our reactions to those episodes are up on the channel now, all of them. So you you can you can watch them as well. And I, I really enjoyed all, all six of them, those little short episodes there. And, and of course, still very much enjoying Andor. I think that show is just absolutely amazing. Um, I, I, I know some people are still saying it's just too slow or hashtag and boring, um, but I, I really don't feel like that. I, I, I think this is so well made and it's well paced and interesting characters and... There's yeah, so they're many taking their time out there, and yeah. I'm gonna stick with mine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. You don't need to be beholden to any other opinion besides your own. Um, and and that's just what it is. It is opinions, and no opinions are wrong when it comes to entertainment and art in general. It's all subjective. There's there's no right or wrong here. Um, oh. But again, yeah, we're enjoying the journey so much. And, and the last episode, it, it felt again a little bit like an, an in-between thing where we got uh, a, a lot of development and then seeing where the characters are going now after like the, the Empire, you know, they're tightening their grip on the galaxy yet again. And everybody's sort of scrambling like Dedra. Uh, she's been in, put in a more of a position of power now, or at least she's... Um, in charge of that sector where Ferrix is. So she has, she's now gone to Ferrix mm. and she is questioning people. The last we saw was like that she was about to question Bix. So I'm, I'm really afraid what's going to happen there. She also had a, a, a short conversation with Cyril Khan and, and sort of just, you know, refused. Told him to go away. Yeah, yeah. Told yeah. him to fuck off basically and don't yeah, yeah. do what you just did. But... Most likely he's going to keep on doing what he's doing and, and he's going to keep looking for Andor and he's going to get back into things somehow. So I'm, I'm really... I'm pretty sure. About, yeah. yeah, I'm curious about where his character is, is going. I, I like that we have several arcs going at the same time. We have the yeah. ISP arc with Detra, we have the mm -hmm. uh, Rebel arc with uh, Luthen, and we have the political arc with Bon Mothma, and then mm -hmm. we have what's all about Andor, more or less. Yeah. So we have... Four things going at the same time, and they all intrigue me in different ways. So I'm looking so much forward to this and the next episode to see where this three-episode arc is going to take us. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I think we are in, in a three-episode arc again, and then there are like two episodes to, to round off the season. And as you just said, so, so many character arcs as well, just inside of the series and Andor himself, yeah. He's in prison. Doesn't look good. Like he's getting more used to it and learning to, you know, survive in there and, and yeah. play this, this game they got going on where the Empire is sort of pitting their prisoners against each other. And what's going on inside of that prison is kind of like a micro version of what's going on in the galaxy as a whole. So I, I like that juxtaposition. We got a little bit of a surprise with a with, with an actor just popping yeah. in there and and playing a seemingly important character just inside of the prison. Andy Circus, Snoke, yeah, <laughs> Snoke himself. And yeah. no, I definitely don't believe any of the theories out there where, oh, is this actually like the template for Snoke? Could it be Snoke? Like all the Snoke theories? Like no, it's just it's a new character in my mind. I I, I don't see it going in that direction. I, I would get surprised if, if that happens. Yeah, if, if they too. put his face face to the floor and burns it to smoke like look but no i don't see yeah that. or i clone him for some odd yeah. reason or use him as a template for the the clones that we know like palpatine's yeah. gonna do later on it like yeah don't see that happening i'm just, I'm just happy to have andy circus in star wars and I'm, I'm happy to see him in anything be it like motion capture performances or seeing the the, the actual person Andy Serkis on screen playing yeah. a character because he is to me like one of the best actors working right now uh, but I think we are pretty much ready to jump into this one right I've been ready for about a week and I don't mind that I spend some time in in my busy 
vacation schedule slash schedule, depending on where you're from. Uh, <laughs> I'm okay with taking some time out for Star Wars. So I enjoyed that very much. And uh, it's a little bit harder to sort of fit into the daily plan uh, when I do work as well. So yeah, yeah, I, I get that. I, I totally get that. But I'm ready for the next episode. So hit it whenever you're ready. Before we do, I also want to tell you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like, comment, all that good stuff. Take a look at the Patreon page where we do full length reactions, sync it up with your own copy of the episode. Um, there's some other Patreon exclusive stuff going on over there as well. Any support is greatly appreciated, especially at the moment where the channel is kind of struggling a little bit to survive. Um, so could, could really use some help um, from some of you guys out there if, if you want uh, to support. I will second that. Support my son, please, and uh, share that you have this channel or share that you know about the channel because for some odd reason, since my grandson arrived, uh, you haven't really gained any supporters. And I think that's absolutely wrong in so many ways. So please share. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you guys. Yeah, any support again, greatly appreciate it. It, it, it is weird and with the YouTube algorithm because I, I took like a two week break when my son was born. And because of that, like the channel just went like this and I haven't been gaining any so new just, it, subscribers or just any new patrons. Stalled. Yeah, yeah, it exactly. I uh, don't know what what's going on there. Um, anywho, anywho, that's enough complaining about that. Let's get into the episode. I, I'll go straight <laughs> into backing. I'm backing you guys. No, <laughs> give it a shot. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Let's do this. Here we go. You pull in the net, and the easy thing is to assume that everything you've dragged to shore is a fish. So here's what we'll do, Bix. I'll tell you everything I know to be true, and in doing so, perhaps convince you to cooperate without intervention. Failing that, we have Dr. Gorst. Who's mm. a unique interview Hi. <laughs> very excited about. Unique Today, interview system. Hmm. Parts I've made. Are you a fish or are you a thief? Hmm? <laughs> Seems a shame to end up on the carving board if your motivation here is just money. Well, Simon Park says you've had at least six meetings he's aware of. He says mm. you sit up on that radio for hours at a time. <sighs> nice signal. Tetra is dangerously good at her job compared to other yeah. Imperials we've seen. When was the last time you spoke with Cassian Andor? It's not like Bix is overly fond of Andor at the moment, but I still don't believe she's the gonna very worst thing you can do right now tell her anything. Is bore me. You're and... not gonna believe me anyway, are you? Mm, exactly. Yeah, she's probably right about that. Yeah. No. She's all yours, Dr. Gorst. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun to have. So you're not gonna believe her anyway. Like, why even bother with the torture unless you get off on it, which she probably does. Yeah. The restraints are nothing to be feared. It's much safer for you to be tethered as we engage. As we engage. Be, um, physical about this process, but we've had some early trials that were a bit chaotic. Well, he is enjoying this. He is. There was a sentient species there, quite unusual. Extremely hostile to the concept of an imperial refueling center that was being planned. They created such a stir that the Local commanders were granted permission to use any means necessary, and um, well, oh, that. <laughs> oh, wow. We've taken the recordings and modified them slightly, and we found a section of what we believe are primarily children. What the fuck? This guy has no shred of empathy or sympathy for anyone or anything. It seems like. Yeah. He's in it for the science part. He enjoys that. And that's it. And it seems like he enjoys hurting people and seeing people being hurt. Like it's the way he's the talking about it. If you're having yeah. difficulty speaking, just shake your head from side to side. You'll want to be sure of that, Bix. It's repeat listenings that cause the most damage. Are we ready? Let's get Not really a question. Wow. Yeah, wow. There's some rough stuff going on inside of this suit. Like, they're really showing just how despicable the Empire is yeah. and how dangerous they can be when there are competent people like Dedra in charge. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's usually like when we see the Empire and especially in some of the animated series and whatnot, like they just a little bit like just fools all around. Not that competent. Oh, no. okay. Well he is definitely working on something. Hmm. He has gained some allies. Yeah. Why? The elevator's not wired. Nothing that moves can fry you. Oh. Shall we begin? When was the last time you spoke with Cassian and Wow, this shit is uncomfortable to watch. I had a feeling, like, even though we were sort of rooting for Detra a little bit early on, that we like, were going to hate her later yeah. in the series. She's a good bad guy. <laughs> she really is. She's the only one we've got who can identify Axis. And Salmon Park? I don't care. I'd like to hang him. What? What's left of him, anyway. Why? Make sure they know who's in charge. As you wish. For fuck's sake. I'd like sake. to hang him. <laughs> really? I stand here today to speak with senators who've come with open minds. Those of you who still believe that when we enter this building, we are in a temple. Wow. It's not working. Not at all. Your cousin, she's arrived. Your cousin? Cousin? Yeah. Something's wrong. Whatever it is, they're taking their time about it. What's going on? What are they saying? I think it's level two. Level two? He's right here. I'm oh, fine. Level two, far side. No, he's not. Stagger. Something broken. What's he saying? What? <sighs> oh. What is that? It's nothing. Someone didn't load in. They are counting. So they cut the power? What do you think's happening? Oh shit. Something's happening. How many hands does it take for one word to get through up here? It's a long way, Kino. Yes, but you've got to... Standing points on program. Feet down, face front, hands on heads. Someone's trying to break out already? Or like, what the break hell is going on? Break out or break in? And Kino is... I didn't, I didn't know he was aware of them talking to each other like that. Oh, Vel's been to Tassia Moon. Look what she brought me. Oh, Vel. My father may have an opinion. We'll see if he lets you wear it. He lets me do anything I want. Hmm, that's the cousin? Yeah. Oh, so that's the rich family that she comes from. Okie dokie. Yeah. And we thought she was related to Luthen. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Ever think about escaping? You know, I won't answer that. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. How many guards on each level? You want out of here alive, turn that part of your mind off. Nope. That's not gonna happen. Why bother listening to us? We are nothing to them. That is true. Melch is right. We're cheaper than droids and easier to replace. Good luck to you. You can <laughs> take care of what we say. How many guards on each level? He's trying to shut him up. <laughs> take a hint. Stop talking to me. Nobody's listening. Nobody's listening. So that's yeah. The title. Of the See, that's working out. And or return to Ferex three nights after Aldani with money in his pocket. You're trying to connect Aldani. That's a bit of a stretch. He was clean shaven. And or had shaved. Because he had to blend in. The rebels at Aldani yeah. were clean shaven. An Aldani connection would certainly amplify interest. <sighs> Let's follow that up. You didn't question the mother? Perhaps they communicate. If they are, we'll know. We're on her full time. Damn. Stop being so good at your jobs. <laughs> yeah, they're good. And they're looking the case slowly. But yeah. Yeah. And it, yeah. Now we know that Biggs talked at least. Like, yeah. Told her some of the things that she knows. Kills, they're all gone. Who said? Oh, what? Shit. 100 men. I can't be right. Who's saying this? Maintenance tech. We had a team go down. He said they find the whole bridge. Speak up. Who told Zinska? Whoa. What happened on to? Yeah. We don't know. We set them all free. <laughs> Kino! Progress! Kino! The less they think we know, the better. Yeah, you all need to start working together now. Let's keep our mouths shut, keep our heads down. So we know what's going on. 
I this kept is... that sentence to himself, more or less. <laughs> it's really getting to him. You've been searching my room again. It's called cleaning. I love the tidy house. <laughs> You've been in my private yeah, box. Yeah, let's call it that. I have ways of knowing. I move mountains to scrape you off the floor and put you back on your feet. And what do I reap? <laughs> what is the return on my investment? Wow, guilt tripping. Imagine I'd cracked and wasn't here now to pick up the pieces. Yeah, that would be a relief. I've been promoted. <laughs> I knew they'd recognize your promise. She is just all over the place. Yeah. Have some more cereal. Yeah. Cereal. Right. Okay, let's go. Wow. Olaf is really falling behind. Yeah. He's not all there anymore. No, like working him day in and day out, and he's already like an old man. And like, of course, he can't. <sighs> Find yourself a husband. It wasn't on my list of things to do. <laughs> well, you need a widower at this point. Who's left of any value at your age? What the fuck? You remember Tay Colmer? I do. Mother's old boyfriend. Is that something you've told her? The key word is old, darling. We were in grade school together. At least you've not gone political, though. The whole thing that's going on inside of this family, and it's really toxic. Yeah. Be a spoiled rich girl for a while. Remind people that's who you are. We'll try. What have we done, Belle? We've chosen a side. It's kind of nice with the intrigues and role playing in the political arena. Be a spoiled brat for a while just to show off the right looks. It's all about perception, steering people away from what you're really doing, be it in political scene or in a prison or Yeah, because if if someone's at the other end like Detra trying to connect all the dots, if you don't behave or Yeah, they or will what... get you. Yeah, yeah. Like we're seeing now with Bix. Oh poor Bix, man. Like please someone come to the fucking rescue here. Oh, dude, what are you doing? He's not done with trying to get in there. Nope. Have you been waiting out here? Yes. <laughs> I'd never lie to you. Um, I need to find you and it's not that easy. A little bit smitten? Mm -hmm. Try to follow on the conversation we had last month. That wasn't a conversation. You were brought in for questioning. <laughs> are you stalking me? Um, I know you work here. And I come sometimes to see if I'll see you. Whoa. Whoa. Justice and beauty in the galaxy. And if I just kept going, so, perhaps it really? would belief that there was something better fated for me in the future was a dream worth clinging to. Yeah, you are clinging. You come near me again, you pursue any of this. And I swear I'll have you in a cage on the outer rim. Nah, he's not done. He Definitely will be not. back. Mm-hmm. There's a 400,000 credit withdrawal that's proving a bit of a problem. It appears on the ledger, then it vanishes. How much trouble am I in? Well, there's no trouble at all unless they scan the accounts. But that's coming. So... So you're in trouble? You have someone in mind. It's not a long list. And yet you're afraid to say who it is? Davos Calden. Who He's is? He's not a banker. He's a thug. I think it's just like everyone else he works with. You want what's yours. He wants to meet here. <sighs> He wants to mingle with the politicians and senators. Mm. Oh yeah, man, this shit is getting dangerous. I but you most probably... likely found the only solution there is. Most likely, yeah. It's gonna have to take risks. We've got a rebel pilot in custody, one of Anto Krieger's group. He was picked up at a oh. customs check. He's telling us there's a raid planned on the power station at <coughs> Where was he heading? On his way that's... to Kafreen. They'll count him missing soon enough. Oh, Kafreen. Well, that, that's what um, <clears throat> Luthen was talking to Saw about. Yeah. Have the pilot found dead in the cockpit, what would happen? They'd have to find it, but they'd tow it into Kafreen. If we did it quickly. Make it so top priority quickly and carefully we leave no trace. Very efficient. It mm -hmm. only cost the pilot. <laughs> Leave the pilot dead. No regard for anyone else if it gets them what they want. <laughs> I was about to say no regard for human life, but no regard for life. Yeah, just any life. <laughs> it doesn't matter what species. On program. Cut it, cut it. Inmates on program. 
Oh shit, 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 shit. Let's go. Tell me we need a med tech up here. You. Get going. Now. Okay, they do have hang in there, Raf. Doctors or or something. Yeah. Med, med techs. I'm so glad to see that Kino actually like he really cares about the people here. Yeah. I was afraid he was a bit of an imperial puppet at first when we met him in the last episode. Yeah, but he he, he want just wants to do his time more or less, but yeah. Slowly he's becoming more aware of what's really happening. Mm hmm Look at me, brother. His name is Olaf. I don't want to know his name. Why? Get him back on his feet. That's another option. And you can't save him. There's nothing to save. He's had a massive stroke. What? I can't help anyone. I need a bag and a trolley. He's coming. You no already knew that going in. You'll pass peacefully, which is more than I can say for the rest of us. What happened on level two? You want to keep your men in line? Hold him. <laughs> yeah, none of you guys are getting out of here unless in body bags. Put down like a dog. Yeah, fuck. What do you mean? Keep my men in line. What happened down on two? I need a bag and a trolley. I said it's coming. They made a mistake. A man who was just released on four ended up back on two the next day. Well, got out on the floor and then they killed them all. Whoa. Yeah, exactly. Just they are. Leaving. None of them are getting out of there. No one's getting out. Are mm -hmm. they? Not now. They've just been shitted around. Yeah. Well, if that doesn't motivate you to do something about this how whole situation, it, it did. Look yeah. How, it, how many? Got Twelve. <laughs> yeah. Now he is. <laughs> now he'll tell him anything. Oh, really? Damn it! They, oh, that was. They're too short. Yeah. They are yeah. Too short. Yeah. But they again just keep you engaged all the way through. Yeah. Even though, like, yeah, it's 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 a slow burn, but I enjoy the character building, uh, yeah. the, the, the small talks along the way, the way that uh, the ISB works. You get an insight on how it works and connects the dots, and uh, Defra yeah. is really good at connecting the dots. So yeah, really good at being a bad guy. It's 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 so. Yeah, it's frightening to see Imperials actually being good at their job, coming up yeah, with like watching strategies. a stormtrooper hit his target. Yeah, yeah. What the hell? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you what's happening here? Don't, yeah. don't see that at all. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Um, yeah. That is so scary. She's so scary. All of them, and especially what's going on inside of that prison. It's it's fucking horrible. But yeah. again. It, it's showing that something that, that Luthen has now said a, a bunch of times where when the Empire is really tightening their grip and showing that they do not care about you, they don't care about your lives at all, then people will have no other choice but to rise up. And, yeah. and seeing someone like Kino, who's just been going along and even sort of helping them out and being the floor manager, and, and we sort of thought he was just a, a puppet of the empire as i said just doing his time and that's he it was not getting exactly. involved in anything no but because he, he he saw an exit or at least like he knew that when my time is up if i just do what they tell me to do then i will be free and same goes for all of you guys same goes for for Olaf. like he he's a he's he's old but he will get out he just has to like last uh like these last like these remaining 40 shifts or whatever it was yeah. But coming face to face with the realization or getting that realization that fuck, you're not getting none out. of us you're not being shifted around. Yeah. None of us are getting out of here. He has no other choice but to then answer the question that Andor has been, you know, posing with like how many how many gods and, and now they're really gonna do something about it. And I think like the next episode we're we're gonna get Sort the of a jail break, break. Some, yeah, yeah, prison break, and they're all yeah. gonna rise up, try to get out of there. Cannot wait to see that. Uh, I think it's gonna be tough to watch as well because definitely gonna lose some people 
on the way. Um, I'm really afraid that uh, Kino himself, Andy Circus might, might not, not make it. Um, oh. But I, I, I'm really enjoying his performance inside of this. And yeah, again, as I said too. up top, like, I think he's one of the most talented actors working today. And you really, you see that. Yeah. His, his performance is, is so freaking amazing and everyone still inside of this series are doing such a good job just the the, the torture died in a nice way sorry you know what i mean he he was acting very well with that and and that's good acting as well i i enjoyed to see that uh, sort of Mm. you you could get the feel along the way that well he's probably not gonna make it no he's not gonna make it and Mm. and just passing away like that or more not not passing away being put down like a dog as it will he had a stroke. That's just kill that, him. That's it. Yeah, can't work yeah. any longer. So, and he's yeah. not gonna get out. And so this is like this is the best outcome. And the doctor even said like this is something that's like that's the best outcome for all of us is actually this. Yeah. Like you're gonna be yeah. begging for what I'm giving him yeah. in in a in a week or something. Because they're just gonna work them until they fucking die, and if anyone finds out, just like what happened on on level two, because they apparently they, yeah they made the mistake of putting in a guy they recognized or something. Um, they're just gonna put them all down, and that, yeah. that could happen to any of them at any moment. So they need to act fast. They need to act now. Yeah. And thankfully, a lot of them are willing to do that. And again, now with Kino being willing to do that, and he commands the respect of a lot of these people. So if he tells them we need we have to, to do, do this, yeah, yeah, then they're gonna they're gonna follow him. Um, and he's gonna work together with with Andor to come up with a plan. I'm sure about that. And nobody's listening because, again, the Empire doesn't see them as a threat right now. Yeah, they're no, they, tightening they, their grip, but they they just they they, they are they are so confident content. that the prison yeah the prison works. They're they're content with that solution they have there, so they don't yeah. worry too much about it. Otherwise, they wouldn't be afraid to treat people the way that they are. And just the story that we got from from that horrible doctor guy with they were going to build a fueling station, and then this native species, of course, they weren't having them having that. So. No, we just massacred them and, yeah. and put them down. And here, listen to their, their screams of agony. Oh, and yeah. with the children as well, because that's the most effective. And like, they just don't fucking care. And it doesn't even enter their mind that doing all of this could bite them in the ass in the end. Because they, they no. just don't see anyone as a threat. Like, the only no, they're ones not, who not are threats, they're just obstacles. Yeah, yeah. Um, only one who might be like, seeing them as potential threats are really doing something about it are the ones inside of the ISB with with Detra leading that whole thing yeah. making those investigations um but 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 still um I, I could imagine in the end like she's, she's gonna become too arrogant or something and something's gonna bite her in the ass as well um, most likely yeah. but but right now she's in a great position for herself she's making her name and you got yeah. a lover boy who can't well he, yeah some, yeah something like that i but, was just about yeah, to say yeah. someone who would like to maybe bite her in the ass real yeah. 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 <laughs> cyril yeah. khan who is yeah. sort of like simping for her a little bit and and as his his mother just noticed that he's been you know he's had his hair trimmed and you know, he's dressing up nicely and he's sort of been stalking Detra and the things he said to her, how she just awoke something in him and made him want to keep on living and doing this. And like, he, he's going to keep doing this. And, and then maybe at some point she's going to succumb to all of that or maybe she's just going to have him killed. But I don't think that's where his character is going. Oh, and, I, I, and I like I like that sidetrack of it where we expect something from Khan and then it, it turns out that he's actually more or less in love in the person, the way she acts, the way she is and what she stands for and yeah. taking this stuff seriously yeah. like yeah. he's doing and yeah. actually seeing some of these rebels and someone like Andor as 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 a threat or at least an obstacle that they have to do something about. Um, yeah. And he just fell in love with that and in love with, with her, it seems. Um yeah, yeah it's that, fun that, to watch. that was that was really interesting. 
I, I do sincerely hope that for the people on Ferrix that someone is going to come and help them out sooner rather than later. But yeah. also the way that they, like, they haven't been shying away from showing us horrible things happening to these people in this series and, and showing like just really how oppressive the empire is. Uh, Cause yeah, of course we've seen characters being questioned and tortured by the empire before, but usually they are rescued immediately after or something. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if we're going to see that here because uh, they, they are really, again, yeah, they're just showing us, the dark side of all of it. Even though I, I like Bix as a person, it makes sense that, well, they're using her to get intelligence out of her, and then once they're done with her, well... They'll probably hang her, just like... Um, yeah, uh, I, would like, I would like, to hang, yeah, yeah. I would like yeah. to hang him. I would like to hang him. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, All of these have fun. Yeah. fucking people, they're just the the absolute worst but i guess you have to be if you're going to work for the empire which is you know this is space fascists nazis like what whatever like we want to call them it it they are just the absolute worst but that's what the whole story about and that's what i like with it it's, it's so clear cut between good and evil uh, and of course you will have to be good at something along the way otherwise it would be a short movie so, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it would be a very short story if they there yeah. weren't some competent people inside of the empire. Yeah. Um, and, and as you're saying, yeah, it, it's clear who's who's good and who's who's bad, sort of like who's doing the wrong things and and who's trying to do right. Uh, but but even inside of just the people we've seen on on the right side of things, like there are yeah. disagreements and they have to do things that they're not. They don't feel good about like someone like Mon Mothma that she's gonna have to talk to what seems like a gangster or some sort to a thug, yeah, a thug, yeah to, <laughs> to 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 get her funds to get some more funds, um, and she's not overly, yeah, not a but, big that, fan fan of doing that. Um, but, no, but she, but, but the fact that is, you have to do. Yeah, the fact is that the empire is crossing a lot of lines, but rebels have to cross a lot of lines too for themselves in order to succumb this uh whole deal they're going through so yeah, yeah. The, the way it's portrayed i i like the way it's portrayed and the whole political game and mm. sometimes along the way you have to step across the line a little bit to make some other things work so so the whole balancing of things comes yeah. through the series so how how far across the line are you are you willing to step until maybe you lose your humanity along the way and you become the very f thing that you are fighting like we see happening with someone like Saw and, and we're you know a little bit like questioning what what Luthen is doing some of the time or they are you know willing to go very far and Mon Mothma is doing that right now like really looking inside of herself like okay what am I willing to do to achieve this goal and do something about all of this oppression does uh, the end yeah. justify the means Yes, yes. And yeah. and I would like to think that, of course, the message that we're going to reach towards the end is that you can do this without losing yourself along the way. And there are sometimes things where you have to go like, no, I'm not willing to go that far. It might be harder to reach our goal, but I'm not going to get my own people killed or stab someone in the back or, you know, act like the oppressors. I'm not going to do that because um, that would be like the right message to send. And that is that would something be the that right Paul Rao to have at the end. Yeah. Yeah. That is something that right is still yeah. that is something that is still very important inside of Star Wars yeah. is is showing what is the right thing to do and what Yeah, it would surprise me if, if 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 the end is kind of like <coughs> well prime pace. That's not the message. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Just do do whatever you can. Yeah. Uh and yeah. Prime pace just... and the end justify the means. No, that's yeah. probably not the message. No, probably not. Probably not. Hope not. And, and, and then we learned something new again in, inside of this episode with Vel, yeah, actually being related to Mon Mothma. It was her her cousin, so yeah. that's the rich family she's coming from. So now, now we know that, and they are talking. They are working together, seeing how far that they um, are willing to go. And then again, just this whole situation inside of the family and with with the husband uh, Perrin. I think that's his name. Yeah, where it, it seems like he's like the things he's telling the daughter, ideas he's putting inside of her head. Um, and I, I have been thinking like that we are, 
that that's where that part of the story is going. That's why we keep seeing her family yeah. and why we keep seeing the daughter. That she's going to think that Mon Mothma is um, cheating and and she's going to do something. That's going to say gonna something be, that kind of puts Mon well, Mothma in, in, in danger, maybe without her knowing about it. Like she's going to think that, oh, my mom is cheating. I better, you know, tell someone and try to get her to not do that or expose her in, in, in some way. And then inadvertently, she's going to expose Mon in another way with the, the rebel activities. And that's not going to be what she wants to do. And then something's going to like really, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck is going to happen with that whole family that's dynamic. A sto- that's yeah. a whole story there as well. So yeah, yeah. There's there's a reason why they are including that because I've seen some yeah. people questioning that and comments and and so on with like why are we seeing that? Like there's absolutely no reason to show us the daughter. Like it makes no sense. They're just now they're just it's just filler stuff now. Where it's like I don't think there is anything in that inside of this series that's filler. Like everything has a purpose and it's going to mean something to the story and to the characters. Yeah, going forward. Um, there's gonna be payoffs with all of it. Um, I, I yeah, there's been so that. much time building the story with the different characters and, and the whole mm. different arcs within the series. Uh, I'm pretty sure that someone's mm. been thinking hard about this while writing it, so it will make yeah. sense at some point. Yeah, yeah. I also think we're gonna in the next episode because we didn't get to see any Luthan stuff and and what yeah. he's doing right now. Uh, he tried to talk to Saul in in the previous one about working with this Krieger guy and now that name came up again at the ISB and they captured this pilot and so they're, they're putting something into motion. I'm sure Luthen is putting something into motion as well. That's going to come to a head possibly also in the next episode. So we're going to get that plus the whole prison break, I yeah. gather. Um, so I, I think like the, the next one is going to be a bit more explosive if you know what i mean that, uh, that, that that's episode because now yeah. again we're, we're we're building we're building and then it's gonna pop off and then gonna lead into to the last two episodes of the season and then we're gonna have to of course wait after that uh for, for yeah. season two um but yeah still moving moving along at, at a pace that that i am thoroughly enjoying me too and 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 i like the acting again mm. the acting's on point um uh, the music still there, the, the score behind the different scenes. So it's uh, solid enough for you to not really notice it along the way. But mm. uh, when you rewatch it and, and you sort of focus on the stuff behind or yeah, the yeah, small yeah. small stuff, then yeah. I'm, it, it works very well. But put some effort into this and there's, it shows. There's a, there's a lot of details and a lot of stuff going on, but nothing that ever takes you away from the story and the characters. That is always in the forefront, yeah. and I really, really like that. You mentioned like the, the score. Yeah, it's 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 really good, and I think it's perfect for this series. And we just watched Tales of the Jedi, where just like the other um, animated series with the uh, Kevin Kiner score, where he's weaving some more of the original themes in there, some more of the, the John Williams music. I don't know if they're going to do that at some point in in this series, um, but that's always something where like, I understand why they don't do it all the time and why don't, they don't just blast out, you know, the Imperial March all the time or the main theme or the force theme or anything like that, like the really recognizable music. But I don't mind if they use it sometimes because it, it is still what would what's really going to give you that Star Wars feel because the music has always been so important to Star Wars. So yeah. I, I do hope they incorporate that into it at some point and use it for like really important moments where they can just underscore it in a way where it, it has a great effect. And yeah. It doesn't feel like they're just, you know, wasting it or yeah, they've, they've earned it at that point. But, um, but yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much going to do it unless you have anything else you want to, you want to add. No, I'm, I, we're, we're going to discuss during the week, like always, uh, mm-hmm. and, and there's so many things to talk about. What on earth are they building that prison facility? Someone wrote about that it might be parts for, uh, for the death star. That would make sense. We have to make a lot of those. So, yeah, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things you can just discuss during the week, and then uh, next Wednesday. Yeah, ready for the next one. Actually, ready I'm ready now. One. But yeah, but let's give it a week. 
let's give it a week and, and talk some more about it. And then there's going to be breakdown videos. You can, again, so many details. Well, so we'll give all the viewers very good time to like, subscribe and share the video, please. Mm. If you know yeah. what I mean, if you saw this beginning and made it all this way here, like, yeah. <laughs> subscribe, share. Thank you. Please, please do. Yeah. Um, if you want to, if you like these videos, if you like these reactions that, that we're doing and want to see us keep doing that, then, then please consider subscribing and liking, commenting, and especially becoming a patron if you really want to support the channel and, and want to see it. And so I can't well be back. You don't have to just tag along with me for eight years <laughs> and so on. Cat will be back at some point. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm the fellow here, so no, 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 no. You're you're a, you're a part of this just as much as uh, as Cat and I now. I I think, um, but yeah. Again, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and may the force be with you always. always.